In this super cool geometry problem, we've got this big semicircle, and this small semicircle is inside the big one, and it's got this radius r. This yellow full circle is also crammed inside the big semicircle, and its radius is 8 over r. We don't know any side lengths whatsoever, and we need to find the area of this yellow circle. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. We know this semicircle's radius is r, so let's draw a radius r here, and another here. And it becomes clear that the radius of the big semicircle is 2r. Let's take a note up here, so that we don't forget it. Now let's draw this line here. And we know it's a straight line, because it's a basic property of the circles, that if they are internally tangent, then their centers and their intersection point always lie on a straight line. And that's exactly what we have here. Now we know this distance is 8 over r, because it's the radius of the yellow circle. And so is this distance. We also know this entire segment is 2r, because it's the radius of the big semicircle. And we can deduce that this tiny pink distance down here is 2r minus 16 over r. Next, we'll draw this line down here, and we'll call it a. Now I'm gonna show you the very handy tangent secant theorem, which states that if a circle has a tangent and a secant, and their point of origin is the same, then the distance x times distance y, which you see in the figure, equals the square of the distance z. Now, this segment is a tangent to the yellow circle, and this segment is a secant, and their common point of origin is this point O. So we can apply the tangent secant theorem here. This pink distance is the x in the theorem, so let's bring it up here like this. And this 2r is the distance y, so let's also put that value here. And finally, this a is the tangent, so we take its square. And this part becomes this. We've got this cool equation, so let's keep it over here. Now, we know this distance is r, so this whole segment must be a plus r. And let's draw this straight line here. This distance is r, because it's the radius of the small semicircle. And this one is 8 over r, because it's the radius of the yellow circle. And so is this one. And this entire distance adds up to r plus 16 over r. Now, again, this segment is a tangent to the yellow circle. And this blue line is a secant. And they have a common point of origin. That means we can apply the tangent secant theorem. So let's take all these distances and combine them into this equation. And let's do the math to get this second equation. Now let's take both equations and bring them together. And we'll add them together to get this brand new equation. But I want to get rid of this minus 16. So I'll add this equation to it again. And we end up with this equation. I'll move it up here because we need some space to work. And it converts into this quadratic equation, which can be factorized like this. It turns out r is either 3a over 2 or minus a over 2. This one implies there is a minus distance somewhere, which is nonsense. So we end up with r equals 3a over 2. Let's move this super important finding up here. And we can go back to any of these equations and substitute r with 3a over 2. I think I'll go for this one. So if we replace r, we get this. I'll do the math for you. It turns out a is 2. Let's go to this equation and replace this a with 2. And r turns out to be 3. We know the radius of the yellow circle is 8 over r. So we'll replace this r with 3. And finally we find the radius of the yellow circle. It's 8 over 3. And now my son will find the area of the yellow circle. You always ask sir. Come on son, go ahead and do it. Hello people. I'll find the yellow circle's area. The area of a circle equals pi times the square of its radius. The radius of the yellow circle is 8 over 3. So I'll take the square of that. 8 squared is 64. And 3 squared is 9. The area of the circle is 64 pi over 9. Thank you for the assistance, Stan. So there we are, people. The area of the yellow circle is 64 pi over 9. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.